Hi, grade 11 and 12. Here's the electrostatic question. Um, this one is mainly on electric field, right? Um, let's cut the chase. Two metal sphere M and N on an insulated stand carrying a charge positive 2M, um, which is this one. It's positive, but we are not given the amount of charge or the quantity of charge. And a negative 6 nanocoulomb. This one. Um, um, it's negatively charged now. It says the distance between the two charges is 20 millimeters. Distance between them and P is a, is a point at um, 10 millimeter from sphere N as shown. If you look at point P, it's 10 millimeter away from P. Right? Um, the net electric field at point P due to presence of M and N is 5,2 newtons per coulomb eastwards, right? Um, now, um, the question now, it says, okay guys, um, what I want to explain here, the net electric field here, um, it's the net at this point, at point P due to what? to n and g2 um, m okay all right to define an electric field at a point an electric field at a point it's an electrostatic force experienced per unit positive charge placed at a point right calculate the magnitude of charge q m which is the charge m right and we know it's positive um, we calculate that but now we're going to make use of the net electric field they said the net electric field here it's 5,2 times 10 to the power 5 in the Wesley direction let's let's see that if it's in the Wesley direction truly this is a negatively charged the negatively charged the field lines are going inward or towards the charge right so the direction of the electric field of n on p it's going to the left and then this is positive the field lines here are what going outward right so the field line of this is going so the electric field of m charge m on p it's going to go to the right but in the net it's going to go to the left because the big the big electric field here it's this one compared to this one why because the distance from here to here it's it's longer so that means the electric field of m on p it's going to be shorter than the electric field of what of n on p so the direction of the net electric field indeed is going to go in that direction let me show you that by the free body diagram free body diagram the electric field of n on p n on p it's going to go to the left right it's electric field of n on p and then the electric field of of m on p which is this on this point since it's far it's going to be in this direction right so it's an electric field of what of m on p right so the net there it's going to go to the left that's why they said it's going to the easily direction westly direction which is it's negative now in 7.2 in calculating that we're going to say the the net electric field on p is equal to the electric field of what of m on p plus the electric field of n on p but now what is important the electric field of n on p n on p it's going to the left due to the field lines of n so here it's going to be what negative right and then we are going to say the electric field of m on p it's k2 to what m over r squared and then here minus 
k to n over r squared right and then we substitute now um, the net electric field here it's 5.2 and the 5.2 is going to be negative because it's going in the Wesley direction and k it's 9.9.9 .9 .9 times that's a power and then we want 2m there and the distance here it's what from there to there it's 30 millimeter so it's going to be 30 millimeter divided by 1000 it's going to be 0 comma 0 3 square minus and then the electric field of m n to p distance is 10 so we're going to have 9 10 to the power um, 9 and 2 m is what 2 n is 6 times 10 to the power negative 9 and we divide by the distance here it's 10 so it's going to be 0 0.01 square right so if we punch this in the calculator the answer for this and it's very important to have an answer for this it's going to be it's going to be 1 times 10 when you punch that in the calculator 1 times 10 to the power 13 2 m right minus and then this is going to be 540,000 the answer the answer for this one and then while we have the net here 5.2 times 10 to the power 5 um, so here we transpose and when we transpose the final answer there and then divide so it's going to be um, 2m equal to uh, negative 5.2 times 10 to the power 5 um, plus 540,000 and divide by 1 times 10 to the power 13. So the answer here for charge is going to be 2 times 10 to the power negative 9 coulombs, which is 2 nano coulomb right and it proves our answer here is positive and we were told that this charge is what is positive right i hope that makes sense guys right let's go to 7.3 7.3 it says two sphere allowed to touch and then make contact and move back to their original position um 7.3.2 calculated the number of electrons transferred from sphere from one sphere to another after separation so it's 7.3.2 so we have to get the two new first the new charge after getting the new charge there so it will be 2 1 plus 2 2 over 2 and then it's 2 times 10 to the power negative 9 which is the one that we just calculated plus um, the negative 1 which is 6 times 10 to the power negative 9 we divide by 2 and then the answer there it's going to be negative 2 times 10 to the power negative 9 coulomb that's the new charge when they were in contact and then separated and then the number of electrons it's going to be 2 final minus 2 initial which is 2 new minus 2 original and then we divide by the elementary charge which is 2e right so the 2 initial the 2 final it's negative 2 times 10 which is this one to the power 9 minus the 2 original um, let's take the 2 that we just calculated this one let's take this one and then we divide by um, the answer okay it's going to be negative so we have to divide by negative um, 19 there so when, if you punch this in the calculator your answer here it's going to be 2.5 times 10 to the power 10 electrons right right i hope that makes sense guys these are the electrons were transferred when they're in contact and then it says b calculate the magnitude and direction of the force um, at sphere m that sphere m exact on n 
So we want the, the charge when sphere M exits on N with the new charges now with 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 no um with the new charges not with the original charges. So this was A and B it's going to be F is equal to K Q one Q two over R squared. So it's going to be um and then the two new the new charge it's this so it's 2 times 10 to the power negative 9 times 2 times 10 to the power negative 9 we divide by the distance between them it's 20 the distance between them is what it's 20 so 20 it's going to be 0 comma 0 2 square right so it's going to be when you punch that in the calculator it's going to be 9 times 10 to the power negative 5 newtons and the direction for that um, they said calculate um, the magnitude and direction the direction of this this is it says let's read the question carefully the magnitude and direction of the force um, that sphere M exact on N sphere M exact on N so the force that sphere M exact on what on N after being in contact so after being in contact guys you must know these were negative negative where do I get that from this answer from this answer so they were both negative so um, it was a repulsion so M will repel so this this will repel this one in that direction they are both negative negative and negative um, after they've been in contact so it's to the right I hope guys that makes sense cheers bye